What is going on guys? Welcome to Homecraft Cocktails, cocktails you can make from the comfort of your home. My name is Briss and today we'll be going over the zombie. It's 1934, Prohibition just ended, and people are finally ready to get zooted legally again. Thus enter Don Beach, legendary tiki bartender and founder of the famous Don the Beachcomber restaurant chain. So tiki drinks are notorious for being, you know, fruity, elegant looking drinks that are comprised of like two to three different liquors on top of liqueurs. And so they're deceivingly strong. Oh, oh look at my little bill. He's a little Hercules. Show me muscle again. Oh, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. So one day a hungover customer walks into Don Beach's restaurant and he says, Hey man, I am hungover as fuck and I have a business meeting I have to attend to. Do you have anything you can give me to like revive me? So Don whips up a cocktail right on the spot, gives it to the guy and says, I think this is do the trick. A few days later, that same customer comes back and he's like, what did you do to my drink? Because I was a damn zombie during that meeting. And thus the name for the drink was born. Simple as that. In fact, the zombie is so potent that throughout all the Don, the Beachcomber restaurant locations, bartenders are actually only allowed to serve up to two per customer per visit. So you're actually limited. So the drink becomes an instant hit, becomes very popular, and really still is to this very day. But the funny thing is though that Don was very protective of his mixtures, his ingredients, his recipes, so much to the point that even his workers didn't even know how to make the drinks that he made. And Don, trying to perfect the recipe even changed up the recipe every couple months or so so i mean throughout the last 80 to 90 years you have many different variations of this drink so you know there's some that have pernod or absinthe or almond syrup or pineapple juice or all kinds of different things so all that means is there's tons of different zombie variations for you to enjoy and now with that brief history lesson out of the way let's get down to actually making the drink so like I said in the brief history lesson, there's tons of different varieties of zombies. Um, today I'll be going over a more simpler version that doesn't involve any ingredients that are, you know, uncommon in a, in a bar. So most of these, if not all these ingredients will be used in other drinks as well. So you don't have to just go out and buy one particular thing just to make this drink. With that being said though, we're still dealing with nine different ingredients as you can see. So it still is a good amount of work. But let's get into it. So first things first, I'm gonna start off by filling your shaker with ice. And one scoop will do. Just because you're dealing with so many different ingredients, you wanna make sure you have room for everything. Next, you wanna do an ounce of dark rum. Then you wanna do an ounce of white rum. And there's, like I said, um, usually in the more traditional zombies, you'll have a um, Puerto Rican rum, like Bacardi, a Jamaican rum, maybe like Smith & Cross or something like that. And then you'll have a um, overproof rum. So like a Demerara uh, 151, you know, something to that nature. Next, you want to do an ounce of orange curacao. Then you want to do a half of an ounce of passion fruit syrup. Um, I bought this um, Simply Squeeze Real Passion Fruit Puree. puree. Uh, you can get this online because I couldn't really find it in any grocery stores or any liquor stores at all. It was, I think it was about $10, maybe $15, and it's lasted a pretty long while, but I'm starting to get to near the end of it, so I might need to buy some more pretty soon here. All right, so next you wanna do an ounce and a half of regular orange juice. Uh, please do not judge me. I know I have uh, Simply Orange with mango. That was a mistake on my part. I did a quick glance in my fridge, make sure I had all the ingredients. I said, like, oh yeah, we got orange juice. Checked it off. I wanted to find out when I was putting all my ingredients on the table that we only have the uh, mango flavored orange juice. So definitely my mistake. 
uh, that I have the wrong one, but you, you do want to use regular orange juice, not mango. Um, it'll provide for a slightly different taste, but it shouldn't be too different. Plus, you know, I've, I've made this zombie uh, quite a few times, so I, I know how the flavor profile actually tastes. Next, you'll want to do half of an ounce of lemon juice and half of an ounce of lime juice. After that, then you want to do a quarter of an ounce of grenadine. And for the last of our ingredients, you want to do two dashes of Angostura bitters. Now you want to fill your hurricane glass with ice. And then we're gonna shake and strain all the ingredients that we just mixed together. Once you've strained your drink, you'll then want to garnish with an umbrella and an orange slice. And then you just drop a straw in there. And there you have a zombie. And now that we have our drink, let's give it a taste. Oh man, that is good. That is so fucking good. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I love zombies. Definitely one of my favorite tiki drinks. Either that or the Mai Tai. They're really like neck and neck. So you have two ounces of liquor in there. So it provides a punch, but you also have the citrus from the lemon and lime juice. You have the uh, orange juice in there, grenadine. Angostura bitters, it all just comes into a culmination of just a, a really nice tasting summery beverage. And yes, I will say that mango flavored orange juice, whatever that we have, it really did not make that much of a difference between that and regular standard orange juice, at least from what I'm used to tasting in a zombie. So like I said, it didn't make that big of a difference. I will say I've always either had zombies the way I just made it or at a restaurant or something and even if you just look at the body of the cocktail it just has a nice orange reddish tone to it that just really gives like a, a sunset like summery type vibe so i will say if you've never had a zombie before i would highly recommend this one i feel like this is a very beginner friendly way to make it it's sweet but not overly sweet and hits just the right senses on your taste buds to provide a well-balanced flavor profile. If you've had a zombie and you've liked it, or you didn't like it, or you think you might have had something similar, let me know in the comments. With that being said, guys, thank you for watching this week's episode, and I'll catch you next week for the next round. Peace.